Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today I'm going to open all of these PO Books mails. Now, I received 12 pieces but one of them is a postcard and the other one says please open offline. So today I'm going to show you 10 different mail ideas, I suppose. Correction, I'm going to show you five and then I'm going to show you five in the next video. <laughs> I'm talking very, very fast. Um, also, this is an iced coffee. I know it looks weird from up top. Mm. I'm talking very, very fast because our neighbors over on that side are currently having the front of their house repainted and my craft room is in the front of the house. So I guess that once they've done all of the preparing work, it will be more quiet. But right now, the Preparing work means sanding. So the entire day I hear uh, Which of course you can also hear when I would be filming this video, but the painter is currently on a little lunch break So I ran upstairs to start filming. I reckon what I will do when he comes back is I will do something else and then I will keep filming in between when he has his breaks because sadly I cannot film at night because I have Spanish class. I'm just in the meantime opening my computer because I'm going to start with telling you who I have replied to. The previous video I filmed in halfway in June, which is like a month ago now, it's now the 19th of June. And since then I have replied to Kira from the Netherlands. You may know her as my friend Simply Creative Kira. Then a couple days after that, I replied to Agata in Poland. I know that one has arrived quite late actually, because on the same day I sent a mail out to Leanne in the USA and that arrived weeks before the one in Poland, even though the distance <laughs> varies quite a bit. But okay, I have sent out these three mails since the previous video. Now we are 19 days into July and I haven't sent out any mail, which is kind of crazy because I love sending out mail. I just haven't been doing too well, sadly. But of course, um, yeah, I will hopefully get back into that pretty soon. I do have to say that even though I have not sent out any mail this month, I am currently working on four different projects at the same time, <laughs> which is not going according to plan, obviously, but um, two of these are P.O. Box replies, so hopefully by the end of the month I will still have my two replies. I also want to say real quickly before getting, before actually opening the mail that I will be taking a break all of the month in, oh, <coughs> I will be taking a break for the full month of August. So if you have been thinking of sending me mail, um, that's absolutely wonderful, but please keep in mind that I will not be filming videos in August So I will either film your PO box mail in September or if you like of course um, I also wouldn't mind if you waited a couple of weeks extra just so that I don't get backed up again um, So that's all of the news I have right now. I am going to start showing you all of these I don't even know where to start. Like I said this meal. I have so many meals to show you I think yeah, I think I'm actually going to start with this one, Andrea. I know you've been waiting for this. Um, this wonderful envelope. I love this paper. I actually have the same paper pad. And what I want to say about this is that... Oh, there's a stupid sticker on here. This is actually a Patreon swap. So when you're my patron in the member tier, we do swaps every... Let's say every two months ish there's no set date as to when we do these swaps just whenever i feel like it i organize one and andrea sent me this one and because i haven't like fully looked at it yet i haven't rated the swap yet <laughs> so i know that she has been waiting for this but this is actually really fun because this was i'm pretty sure this is our mini mail swap so we were supposed to send a mini mail and look how big this is because this is actually the mail itself it said on the back please only open only by cutting or removing the washi tape so not cu cutting open at the top, which is what I usually do. So I already prepared that. I already opened all of the envelopes, even though I haven't looked at all of them yet. But first, the kitty stamps. Isn't that cute? These are from Romania. And then it opens like this, which I think is absolutely incredible. I have made meals like these before, but I always put them inside an envelope because I'm afraid of it getting damaged. I've never actually sent it out as the mail, but you know, like I said, there was washi tape here. Yeah, it's torn. I'm sorry, the paper tore. 
the washi tape here and here and here and here. So it was closed pretty well. I just never thought of doing that. And then when you open it, it says for Vivian at the top and enjoy. Can I zoom you in a little bit? Enjoy at the bottom, which I think is adorable. Then in the middle is a shaker pocket and it says so many people love you, don't focus on the people who don't, which I think is so sweet. She actually sewed this all around. Oh! Huh? Oh, I didn't even realize this was a pocket. Oh, so I can actually, oh, so I can actually take this out. I just wanted to show you that this was sewn and then I was like, uh oh, it, I accidentally opened it and then I realized that the pocket, is actually, the pocket is actually still closed. That is so clever. So you could use that as a goodies pocket as well. <clears throat> so, and then we have all of these lovely stickers here. Just some washi tape stickers. You know I love these. And then some of these clear stickers as well. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but you get the idea. And then on the other side, oh, some more. Oh, this one is really pretty. These two, the blue one and this one. I love all of them, but well, these two just stand out. And then, oh, it's not good for me to have a, to be on the clock, you know, like to keep thinking, okay, I have to hurry up because he's gonna come back soon. But I do want to film this video because you guys have been waiting long enough. This is actually a little tab. Oh, it's heavy. A tab, and then here it says a letter for you. I haven't read the letter yet, which is kind of silly actually, because I could have just reached it like this. Oh, it's a long letter. <gasps> Her handwriting is so gorgeous. Look at this. Or uh, I'm not even showing the hand letterings. Can you see that there? Oh, I wish I could do that. So I'm gonna read the letter afterwards. That's one of the requirements of my swaps to include a little letter. I always like that. And then there's two things here. These two talk spots. I have to keep in mind that you might not be able to see because I keep moving things around. First of all, this one. Oh, there's a little Velcro dot. There's something about little Velcro dots that is so cute. Isn't it? Ooh. Oh, that's cute. It's a mini, um, mini accordion folder. What a sweet idea. And it's so flat, so flat. And there's these white embellishments, which are perfect for address labels. Of course. Oh no, the painter's back already. That's not 15 minutes. How short are your breaks? And then the other one. Oh, this one. Oh, I like these. These will be perfect because whenever I need an address label to stand out, I just always use a white label, like an actual sticker, but this is actually way cuter. So thank you for that, Andrea. And then this, <clears throat> this is a little, oh, another Velcro dot. I am gonna reuse them, I think. <gasps> oh, little washi. Uh, why do I always say washi type when I mean wax seals? This one is my favorite. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love how detailed these are. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, that came out weird. Oh, there's something behind here. Oh wait, I just, I skipped a page, sorry. <laughs> there's little mini washi type samples on little tags. And then this has vellum quote and little memo sheets. How adorable. <clears throat> hey! Oh my god, I almost would have missed this. It actually says my name. Look, can you see that? Does my camera pick up on that? It says, Esiamos Vivian. <laughs> Vivian, of course, but Vivian. I don't know, it sounds Spanish. <laughs> That's funny, I, uh, <laughs> I would have missed that. It's so tiny. So thank you so much for this adorable, um, huge envelope. How do you call these things? Like if you, because I've done videos like this before, how do you call this an open envelope, envelope flip book? I don't know. Please do tell me what you would call these because I have another one of those videos coming up pretty soon. Mm. But I will finally rate your swap. I love it, Andrea. It, ha it arrived like a, probably like a month ago already. I just haven't had the time to sit down and film this video. <clears throat> Next up is this adorable postcard from uh, Maria. The earth has music for those who listen. I'm gonna flip it around because it has her return address on here. But this adorable postcard. And then there's an, an, a corresponding nail that came with it. 
Oh, there it is. It's already on my desk. A corresponding mail. The only thing is, these are both stamped off on the same day. But ever since I reopened my PO box, I have this rule asking people to please wait eight weeks in between letters. So even if it's like a letter and a postcard, please do keep it that in mind. Of course, it's very possible that you miss it. and I'm not upset or anything. I just wanted to clarify that. I ask for eight weeks in between. So because there's no eight week, because, so because these were sent out on the same day, I'm also going to put them together. Normally, if there's eight week, weeks in between meals, I would put them both in a two reply pile so that you have a, you know, two chances because obviously you sent me mail twice. But because these were sent in the same day, I'm gonna put them in there as one. First up, ah, breakfast blend. I haven't had black tea in so long. It's actually really good. I'm just gonna pop it in the tea basket, like make it stick out so that I can see it. And then we have this adorable little baggie with some sticker flakes. Hello, focus please. Oh, I love the one you put up top. I think you must have known. I'll explore these once I am done filming. And an adorable little washi tape sample. Oh, I love the grid. And then of course I already picked these out, but I was talking, so I don't know if you guys realized. But this is like a an embossed sticker. Can you see that? From a rose and then this one with the violets. I love that. So thank you so much for that, Maria. I haven't read your letter yet. I just found a letter in here as well, but I did read the postcard. I hope you've been well. And, um, mm. feels really, okay. Moving on, this one, I, it, this one says open off camera, thank you. But I did want to show this adorable stamp because it's um, something that I identify with a lot. It says the future is in your hands and it seems to be, it's of course an Irish stamp. This meal is from Jane, I haven't even said that yet. This meal is from Jane and she used like a, an eco-friendly message that has, a stamp that has an eco-friendly message. Wow, cannot talk today. I really wish we had stamps like this because um, Little reminders like this, I don't know. I think for some people it might help. Next up, I'm going to grab one of the bigger ones because why not? Also because I'm very curious because I haven't, like I said, I've opened all of them, haven't actually looked at it yet. This one is from Shelby and she used this pink bubble mailer. Is it called a bubble mailer or a mailer? I don't know. First up, I feel kind of guilty, but she spent $28 on postage. Please, I hope you all know this, but you never ever have to feel like you have to send me a big parcel. Ooh, although, oh no. Although of course I really do appreciate it. Oh no, this one is flattened a little bit. Did I do that? Okay, I'm just, I'm going to pop these underneath some books to flatten them out. This one says, many ribbons, bear. <laughs> oh, it's kind of difficult to see, but it's, it's quite bright, but um, when I look on my camera, it all looks quite pale. I've never had that before. Then we have this one, which is a little, uh, one of those, is it like a honey bear? I remember my grandparents used to have a, a honey jar like that, like a honey bear. And then this one, which is a carousel. Cute. Ah. I think I might have damaged these, or I don't know, they, they were, damaged in the mail, I don't know. And then this one, I've had, people have sent me this particular bag before. Absolutely love it. Look at those dainty little flowers. And then, okay, I have to admit, I have been dying to figure out what is in here. First of, first of all, <clears throat> it's quite a coincidence because two of the projects that I am currently working on are using the same paper. Are, um, are using like Maggie Holmes paper because these, as you can see, are all Maggie Holmes papers. I love that. I love that. <gasps> oh, and oh, I did not expect that. Oh my god, it's like an envelope flip. First of all, let's just look at the structure. How do you call this? Like, because this, it was flattened a little bit in the mail. I think that is also quite smart. I don't know if you did that on purpose, but if you mail it, of course, it turns way flatter because you can just move it back into shape but it's way flatter like that. Anywho, um, this is the general shape. I really like this, quite profesh. And when you open it up, it has all of these envelopes in here. 
Oh, he chose some of my favorite papers. All that, all these envelopes. So let's just look at what is in these. Oh, it's a tea. Oh, are all of these teas? What a cute idea. Or maybe it's just one tea. A strawberry and mango. Okay, oops, I will try this. Okay, what am I doing? I will try this and I will go back to you. I think it, this is, I think this is caffeine free. Strawberry mango. Have to admit, not a fan of strawberry tea, but mango might actually balance that out nicely. And then the second one. Oh yes, it's another tea. Oh, this is all filled with teas. Caramelized pear. Oh, I love, I do love pear teas. I don't know why. Next up. Oh, caramel apple pie. Oh. Apple is also good in teas, not gonna lie. I am picky, but not that. Oh, apple cranberry. Okay, do have to admit, I'm a picky tea drinker. Cranberry is too sour for me, but maybe if I infuse it for a shorter time, because what happens is I always forget about the tea bag and then my whole tea is purple because that's the cranberry. And then it's very sour, but maybe if I just infuse it for like a minute. But okay, I will try all of these and get back to you. Oh, what a cute idea for a meal. It's like. Do, do, do. So this is already a good start. I wonder if I can reuse this somehow. Of course, I don't want to send your project to someone else. That might be a little bit weird, but it is such a waste to just let this be. To just leave this like this. It's so cute. And then secondly is this big fat, I don't know if it's a flip book or a journal, but wow. There's a little girl sticker, a little frame. <gasps> It's like vintage themed. Ooh, is this your letter? I think this might be the letter. Oh, first up, oh, this is not the letter. Oh, the letter is in here, Never mind. Ooh, address, ooh, it's good that this is upside down. Okay, I'm gonna pop that back because of course the letter is from my eyes only, but how pretty is this paper? And I also have like big vintage books that have big cutouts and I never know what to do with them, but folding it up to make like a little envelope is actually pretty clever. So I'll pop that back and read that afterwards. <clears throat> I think this is actually a journal that I can use because these ha it has like many blank-ish pages. <gasps> oh, this is a pocket. Oh my God. Oh my God, the work you put into this. Oh, we're gonna look at it one page at a time. I need to go a little bit quickly because I'm taking so much time looking at everything, which obviously I love but this video is gonna take seven hours. Maybe I should just cut it in two. I don't know, maybe I will cut it in two once I'm editing. <gasps> oh, this pocket. First of all, how beautiful is this floral decoration? And it's like a pocket. I have said that seven times and it's filled with actual vintage, actual vintage tickets. I, at least I'm pretty sure that's actual vintage doesn't look like Aliexpress. I mean, I have Aliexpress tickets that look pretty, pretty real, but these, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> this is kind of creepy though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, oh, this is like a notable languages. Oh, it's a Donald Duck. Beautiful, look at these. Oh, this is from, I recognize that as being from Monopoly, <clears throat> right? I'm pretty sure this is Monopoly card. <laughs> that is so funny. A very old clip art. Oh, this is really precious. I'm just gonna pop that back. I'm gonna pop it back because whenever I do one of these videos, I look at things and I show them to you, but of course I go quite quickly and I, I love um, being able to like unpack it once again with kind of like fresh eyes and to take my time and to really look at everything more in detail because to give it the attention it deserves. <gasps> oh my god, I love this washi tape you have. Oh, it's a little envelope and it has... Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's a playing card. Oh my god, if I would find a playing card deck with this type of illustrations on there, I would probably do a happy dance right there in the secondhand store. So these are all playing cards, I suppose. Oh, this one is also gorgeous. Look at that, it even has gold foiling on it. 
Oh my god, you really have a good collection of beautiful playing cards. I have to admit, you probably already knew because you put it on the top. The banana leaf one? Definitely my favorite. I'm always jealous whenever people find pretty playing card decks like that. But then I have to admit, I never... Mm, I never seem to um, have a shortage of these anyway because people share them with me. This is also a pocket. I love this sticker and it has all oh, a washi tape. Oh, you are too precious. Washi tape sample in here with all of the grids. This beautiful, I think it's coffee themed one. And then this one, I think this is the one that you use over here. I have a similar, whoops, I have a similar, hello, a similar washi as well. I realized that with like all of the different illustrations. That's actually the, 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 probably the same brand of washi that I stuck on my table and then tore it off and it tore a piece of the paint off. That's how strong it was. I think I might have that still somewhere. Good reminder. <clears throat> so if I were to, if I could find it in my heart to actually journal on these pages, I could probably tuck a note in all of these, like hidden journaling. I love that idea. I just never seem to actually get around to it anymore. Oh. All of the washi tape stickers. Oh wow. I think I used to have that sticker pack. I don't know where it is now. Oh, look at all of these. Okay, I'm not gonna show all of them up close because, oh, but this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then what is this? Oh, it's a, a vintage map, I suppose. I love that crinkly sound. <laughs> if I didn't talk, this much, I probably could do ASMR videos with all of the different paper signs. But my chatter is probably too much. Oh, beautiful vintage stamps. That is gorgeous. Oh, it's a uh, vellum baggy as well. Or translucent. <coughs> Someone messaged me, or emailed me actually the other day, um, to ask which stamps my neighbor, my old neighbor collects. Um, because she was planning on sending us <laughs> some, uh, which is very, very sweet, first of all. The countries he collects are mainly Europe, like Scandinavia is his favorite, like uh, Finland especially, um, and then Japan and Australia. He collects nearly all countries. The only thing is he only collects the most recent ones because he already has all of the ones from up until like 2018, I would say he already has all of them. So I usually take out the ones that are 2021, 2020, even 2019 sometimes because those are the most rare because no one sends mail anymore, which is just sad. <laughs> Anywho, next up is these quote cards. I've seen these before. I wonder what they are from. It's like little poems or quotes, which is quite nice. Oh, another lovely crinkly paper. I don't know, I just love these things. And then we have a tip out envelope. This has so many ideas for making your own journal. Like a beginner's guide to journaling, all of the different types of pockets you can do. In here, ooh, mini cards. Mini cards, you need art. That is so true. So these are all mini cards. I think they're called Lomo cards I used to. <clears throat> look for them a lot on AliExpress as well, like the major cards, I think they're called Lomo, or that's the brand, I don't know. There's so many cute ones. And these are really cute for writing a little note, for journaling probably, but also for like pen pal mail. Pretty. The beeping sound you hear is just a mailman. It's a lots of lots of noises today. Beautiful, look at this collage. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I see some labels coming up, yay. Oh, sticky notes, grid. <laughs> That's a very nicely formed sentence. Sticky notes, grid, grid, sticky notes. Oh, these are absolutely lovely. For address labels probably, but also for collaging. You know how I feel about simple patterns like grid. Then up at the top here is this sort of lacy ribbon. And more importantly, 
a pocket with labels <laughs> that I cannot wait to open. Also, can I just say that I feel eternally grateful for you using all of your pretty see-through envelopes because I know they're not easy to find and you used so many of them. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame again. Okay, so this, oh, I have these. Don't you love these? Absolutely love these. These are perfect for address labels as well as probably collaging, but I, I always forget to use them in collages. Oh, these are sturdy. These are the real deal. Oh my God, I'm way too excited about all of this. We have these, which is like a funny texture. And this says, log your life. Date two, like a library card. Oh, you were too kind. <clears throat> Way too kind. Oh, it's getting warm in here. It's like 26 degrees out there today. I'm not used to those temperatures. Okay, what is the... Oh, wait. Oh my God, Project Live cards. Okay, I'm not going to show you all of them, but because there's a lot. Oh, is this Mickey Holmes again? About this photo. How pretty is that? Sorry, it's not like I'm obsessed with browns, but recognizing them is fun. Snail mail envelope, I have these. I can't believe you wanted to share them with me. How absolutely wonderful. And then this beautiful collage. And then on the back is a girl sticker. This is weird paper, it's like shimmery and sturdy. And then, ooh, another pocket. Oh, read me private. Oh my God, wait. <clears throat> okay, wait, I'll tell you about that in a second. Not the note, of course. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh my God, some girl stickers. I like these. Oh, this one. And a shopping one. And then some craft paper labels and stamped images that I can cut out. Really cute. And then what we see at the bottom here. Have I been holding this sideways the whole time? I don't know anymore. Crinkly, crinkly, crinkly. <clears throat> what you see here is stickers that she designed. She designed herself. It's a little bit bent because of course the, the cover of the flip book is bent, but look at this. It's like stacks of books, a beautiful um, Monstera plant and a candle. I think you might have a shop then called Future Fields. That is so cool. I wish, like, okay, I th I'm pretty sure that you, yeah, she designed and made these stickers, but do not want or expect any promotion. Are you kidding me? I love these. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame again. I keep forgetting that I'm zoomed in. Beautiful, that is so cute. That is like a dream to design your own stickers. I wish I had the skill. So wow, look at this big fat journal. Shelby, I have to admit, I would love to journal in this, but I think I will just keep it for inspiration because it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for all of your kindness. <clears throat> I cannot wait to read your letter and try the teas and hopefully I will be able to write back to you someday. Oh. For now, I still keep all of the mail for six months. Um, I, I, uh, I take them out of the to reply pile after six months just be in case someone has moved or something like that. You know, you never know. But because I'm going away for one month, I will keep the ones um, that fall in August uh, for seven months, of course, because um, it wouldn't be fair otherwise. Next up is this gorgeous envelope from Louise. Oh, sorry, my brain froze for a second. And I wanted to say your Instagram name, but it's actually already up here. Coffee tea paper, a personalized stamp, which I absolutely love. We've been following each other on Instagram for quite a while. I love her content and Look at how wonderfully decorated this envelope is. I'm pretty sure this is Noose. I'm just gonna claim it as Noose. Noose dreaming about leaves and tea 
and tea bags and flowers and I absolutely love it. I also recognize these stickers from being from Aromi, from Pick Your Mix. Um, the best, <laughs> the most fun uh, Etsy store, in my opinion. I've had stickers from her shop for years already and the best part is I'm actually going to be a brand representative for her uh, in a couple of weeks, <laughs> so I'm quite excited about that. <clears throat> like I said, I already opened all of these for making this quicker, even though I have been filming for over half an hour already. It says, hello, Vivian. Oh, these little flowers. I love this paper, first of all. Adorable. I love your handwriting. Ooh, and inside, this is a lovely layout for a flip book. I think this flips open. Oh, actually flips open and open again. <laughs> I'll look at that in a second. And then we have a tuck spot behind here, which is so fun. Oh, and there's something on the back as well. Okay, it says just for you. I love this design. It says belief in yourself. And it's like a little journal card. And this kitty that says in the spotlight. And then there's something behind here as well. Oh, I don't want to damage that. Mm. Okay, there's this. Oh, look at that little flower. I love. I think these might be stickers or die cuts. I love all of them. Okay. Oh, I damaged the flower. Oh, I think these are die cuts as well. Oh. Yes. Oh, I think you, you might have cut these yourself. I don't know. Oh, you sent me some. That's so sweet. Look at these little floral tea. Hello. A little bicycle. Do you guys ride a bicycle? Let me know. These are adorable. I would ride those. I mean, I ride a bicycle because I'm Dutch and we cycle pretty much everywhere. But I don't have flowers on my bike, which would be cool though. Oh, and the mailbox. These are so cute. Oh, there's a lot more. Just pop them on here. Why, hello there. Oh, sorry. I keep going out of frame. I don't want to zoom out, though, because then I also like the close-up look. Oops. All of these. Adorable. <clears throat> Absolutely adorable. I think I'll just keep these together. Because they all seem to be the same style, I wonder. I do not recognize these, but uh -huh, it's definitely my style. And then in here, oh, oh, another little see-through baggie. I can see a sleeping kitty. It's like a magpie bag of different things. I think these are magazine clip-outs, actually. That's pretty. Oh, more candles. I, ha I, I think candles are actually very cute as well. Never really thought about it. Oh, plantastic. How cute is that? I love it. Uh, uh, okay, I have to know. This gives me Daphne's diary vibes. Especially because of the font on the background. Is that Daphne's diary? Could very well be. I actually, Daphne's Diary, for those of you who don't know, is a magazine. That's like a crafty magazine. Um, I don't know if it's Dutch, but I know that it's like internet. You can buy it in many international. You can buy it internationally. <clears throat> I actually looked at it again in the supermarket the other day. It's so expensive. And I don't think that I will really use everything because it has everything from like crocheting to furniture making to paper crafting. I don't think I will use all of that. Is that your, oh my God. Is that, what's his name, Percy? Oh my God, is this like really? Okay, so for, okay, um, explanation. Okay, I can't wait to read your letter, but explanation is that Louise has a, what is this, a cockatoo? A bird, I'm just gonna call it a bird. And I think his name is Percy. And I'm pretty sure that this could be him, but also it's like, it's like embossed, so maybe it's just... An... <sighs> okay, it's embossed, so I think it's just something that she bought, but it is really adorable. And it looks like your bird, or maybe it doesn't look like your bird at all, because I'm not an expert, but that's exciting. 
very adorable. I can't wait to read your letter. I uh, can't wait to read your letter. Point. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Louise. I absolutely love the paper you chose. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to, to seeing how you've been. That's just something I keep saying all the time, but I do mean it. I really love reading how you guys have been. It's like, um, like restrictions are lifting a little bit here, but I still feel like uh, boxed in sometimes and reading about other people's lives kind of makes that feeling a little bit less. The next envelope is this wonderful uh, purple envelope. All of these little flowers. I love this idea. It has like washi tape here and around the corners and then all of these different cut out um, flowers. Oh. oh, this is the letter which I will read offline, except I don't know your name because there's no return address on here. Let me see if I can find a name. Uh, I'm trying to find the last page. I don't think this is gonna work. I just need to... Okay, that's better. Okay, the letter is always private. You don't have to worry about that. My boyfriend doesn't read them. My... Oh, Ava. Aw, hello, Ava. Okay, it says right in the first uh, line, it says, oh, my name is Ava. So just pop it back but you never have to worry about me um like i your information everything you share with me is private of course sometimes i share anecdotes from people talking about their anxiety or not anecdotes but i just share that people share their anxiety with me um but i would never name you or anything like that or i would never share oh my god your actual personal experiences <gasps> this is so pretty look at this it's like foiled washi tape Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, I just realized this is actually a double fold pocket. You might have followed my tutorial or maybe you figured this out yourself because it's not that hard and other people do it too. But I like to think that you actually followed my tutorial. So you have two double pockets on the front. Hey, it still feels like something else is in here. Did I get everything? Two double pockets on the front and then on the inside is this adorable washi type. And these were in here, some... What is this called? Vinyl stickers. Hit the trail. Oh, this cactus one. Hit the trail. <gasps> that is pretty. Pretty, so another long letter for me to read. I really look forward to that. I've been quite good not reading all of the letters. I have read some, but I still have plenty left to read. Well, let's quickly count. Let's see how many letters I have left. One. Two, three, four, five. I still have five, like four letters left and then a big parcel. So I think I'm just actually going to cut this video in half. Okay, the address cover fell off. I'm going to cut this video in half. So this will be the end of video number one. I promise you video number two will be online very, very soon. But I can see that this video is already 38 minutes long. And... Uh, if I film these, it's going to be over an hour and I want to give everyone the attention they deserve. And I just realized that I've been filming for 40 minutes and the painter still hasn't returned. Oh, I think he's actually gone. It's probably too hot. It's like two o'clock and he's probably melting or he's just getting some supplies. So I've been very lucky, <laughs> um, but okay, I'm going to open all of these in the next video i promise that will be soon hope you're all doing amazing and thank you for watching this video let me know if you got some ideas from all of these i can't i cannot imagine you didn't get ideas from them but i would love to know uh what was your favorite and i will talk to you again in the next video of course okay bye